Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of nested if else. Now, what is if else? So we know we have already seen that if else statement can be used as a condition when we need to select one particular block out of two. We can go for if else statement. Now, what is nested if else? So nested if else is just we can say k if else block within another if else block one if else block and in that if else block we have another if else so this is considered to be nested ek if else ke andar dusra if else le lenge hum to usko bolenge nested if else now you might have doubt ki where we can use this or in which situation we need to have nested if else so nested if else can be useful for the cases where you have more than two options we have seen in if else we can able to execute or we can able to uh, use if else in the cases where we have exactly two possibilities like number is even or odd number is positive or negative you are pass or fail so in all these cases we have exactly two possibilities but when we have more than one possibility or more than two possibilities like uh, one example is number is zero positive or negative so here there are three possibilities that number is negative positive or zero so in that case you can go for nested if else another example which we will be taking in this video is that ke okay, suppose you have three numbers and you need to select maximum out of it suppose let's say you have a b and c and you now you need to select that which is the biggest out of a b and c a is bigger than b and c b is bigger or c is bigger so here there are three possibilities a can be bigger second possibility is b can be bigger and third possibility is c can be bigger so when you have more than two possibilities or more than two options then we need to go for nested if else okay so if else we will be using within another if else block now look at the syntax that here this is our first if else this is first if and this is first else but in this if block another if else is there in else also another if else is there so we can say if else within if else that is considered to be nested if else syntax is is same no change in the syntax that if you can see if then condition then true block is there then else block then false block is there same way this is the else of this if so in else we have same sort of if statement and else statement so ultimately it is just if else within if else now we try to understand with when example okay what exactly it is so here you can see we have three numbers like suppose we have three numbers a b and c and i need to find maximum out of these three that which is maximum so this is the program very simple we have declared three variables then we have taken the value from user we have taken three value a b and c using the scanf function now when we can say that a is maximum so we can say that if a greater than b and a greater than c if a is greater than b and a is greater than c then only we can say a is maximum okay for b also that if b is greater than a and b is greater than c if th these two conditions are satisfied then only b is maximum so here we need to decide but before deciding or we need to give the answer but before giving answer we need to check two conditions so only single if will not serve so we'll take here that a is maximum if and only if it is bigger than b as well as bigger than c so now here you check out so in first if what i have done i have written if a is greater than b but this is not sufficient we cannot say that if a is bigger than the b it is maximum one condition is satisfied that a is greater than b but another condition is to be checked so that if this condition is true means a is bigger than b 
then we again come inside the true block this is our true block for if condition but in true block again we are checking another condition whether a is greater than c or not because it is already decided that a is greater than b but again we need to verify that a is greater than c or not if a is greater than c then only we can say a is maximum else c is maximum why because a is greater than b and a is not greater than c means c is greater than a so we can say that c is maximum here what will happen a is already greater than b but this condition is false so we can say that a less than c so it means that c is greater than a as well as greater than b so c is maximum so in else what is when we will come over here so when a is less than b when a is less than b this condition is false so when a is less than b we will come to else block but a is less than b or we can say b greater than a is not sufficient to say that b is maximum because we need to check another condition that b is greater than c or not so if this condition is true then we can say that b is maximum so this will be printed when b is greater than e and b is greater than c but if b is not greater than c then c is maximum so to decide one knowledge or to give one knowledge we need to check two separate conditions so that we have used nested if else we have used if else within if else so whenever you have more than two options you need to go for this type of situation you can use if if else statement within another if else statement and the purpose will be served okay so thank you for watching video